Good afternoon, everyone. In today's video, we're looking at another winter storm and a major ice storm across the Ohio Valley and Midwest. We're going to start off by looking at the latest ACRR model, and this is going to be the 16Z. So this came out about just a few minutes ago here. We do have a lot of heavy snow and possible uh, freezing rain over here in portions of eastern Oklahoma and also Oklahoma City is seeing some sort of freezing rain or a very heavy snowfall uh, kind of showers. It's not very widespread, but it's very scattered uh, shower. So you're seeing very heavy snowfall amounts with some of those showers today across uh, the area over there. Let's move forward though and we see a lot of mix and freezing rain across these areas here and that's in the purple we have a lot of freezing rain as well in portions of that red but not a lot of snowfall because this is just on the freezing line and that freezing line is very large as you can see according to the cod model here but we're going to move forward here as we head throughout today this is going to be 6 p.m we still have a lot of freezing rain go on going by around 6 p.m as you can see across from texas to even portions of indiana so a large area of freezing rain not a lot of snowfall yet now let's move forward throughout thursday this is going to be overnight of wednesday into thursday and we're seeing yet more freezing rain developing across these areas a lot of freezing rain according to the HRRR model on uh, College of DuPage. This is about the farthest we can go, but we can go to the longer range HRRR. But this is going to be at around 4 a.m. tomorrow on Thursday. So a lot of freezing run across the area of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, uh, Illinois, Indiana extremely large area of freezing rain and mix across uh, those areas because it's just going to be that right temperature uh, for a lot of these areas just to see that freezing rain all that mix it's going to be disgusting out there if you do live in these mix and freezing rain areas for uh, this weekend pretty much the end of this weekend to this weekend it's going to be uh brutal outside in these uh, types of conditions here now let's look at the longer range here throughout thursday here this is going to be early morning hours so around 6 a.m a lot of heavy freezing rain across again texas oklahoma uh, yet again here arkansas missouri pretty much the whole state of missouri is going to see freezing rain or snowfall which again is just going to be brutal out there Let's move forward here. That moves into more of Illinois there. You're seeing a lot of that freezing rain. Let's switch to that region so you can get a more in-depth look at that. And here is the Midwest here that we're looking at. We're seeing a lot of heavy snowfall that we weren't seeing in the south but it's mainly in the northern midwest areas as you can see some very heavy snowfall amounts as you can see in portions of types of these areas here so you're again gonna see a decent snowfall amounts again in these portions of the midwest areas you're still seeing some freezing rain definitely not as widespread as early thursday but you're still seeing a line of freezing rain across portions of uh, missouri illinois indiana ohio and even reaching into pennsylvania there as we move across thursday into the overnight hours into friday you're still seeing that snowstorm still ongoing but a lot of that is moving out and choosing not to really stall over portions of the midwest kind of just kind of quickly going over these areas and making a run towards the mid-atlantic and northeast which as you can see we switch over to the northeast here or mid-atlantic and as you can see, very heavy snowfall amounts uh, for Friday, early Friday. So around 2 a.m., you're seeing very heavy snowfall around the northeast. And again, northeast, this is going to be 48 hours from now. So 6 a.m. Friday. This is looking uh, pretty heavy snowfall. As you can see, you're seeing extremely heavy snowfall amounts here. Upwards of 40 decibels on these edges of the freezing line. So again very heavy snowfall amounts if this does verify here we can go ahead and look at our total snowfall amounts and see what we could expect from this winter storm and the freezing rain accumulations freezing rain accumulations across the south are looking again brutal as you can see over here near dallas could see upwards of a quarter of an inch of ice accumulations the majority of dallas the northeastern texas all the way down here uh, near san antonio could even see upwards of a quarter of an inch of ice but mainly a dusting i think should uh, mainly uh, pretty much a glaze of ice san antonio will likely see from this 
But as you reach up here in southeastern Oklahoma, upwards of a half an inch of ice. So again, a lot of ice is going to be proportion to southeastern Oklahoma. Arkansas is expected to see once again a significant ice storm with half an inch to three quarters of an inch of ice across these uh, very blue areas. Uh, and again, those pink areas are mainly going to be glazed. So like a tenth of an inch of ice, maybe a quarter of an inch of ice, which is more of a glaze, but which is more than a glaze, but definitely uh, still very impactful ice there, uh, for, especially for roadways. And power lines could definitely uh, fall down from that weight from ice again. Arkansas, I think this is the, like their fourth ice storm this year. So they've been getting hit a lot uh, with the ice. I'm pretty sure they are just over it over there. So this is not going to be a terrible ice storm. But again, over here near Arkansas, you could upward, you could see some pretty significant ice again. Uh, even over here in southeastern Missouri, uh, over here western Kentucky, could see upwards of half an inch. Switch over to the Ohio Valley. We have a little bit of a break in the ice for uh, southern Indiana. And uh, we're here in southern Illinois. It's still a kind of that like glazing of ice, but mainly a quarter of an inch of ice is still going to be quite impactful for those roadways, especially in southern Illinois, southern Missouri, and southern Indiana. Over here in northern Kentucky, you could also see that glaze of ice with upwards of a quarter of an inch. Or, uh, even over here in portions of southern Indiana, you could still see upwards of half an inch of ice in Ohio getting impacted again by a major ice storm, upwards of an inch of ice in some areas but mainly a half an inch of ice three quarters of an inch of ice which is still very impactful for roadways power lines trees and all of that uh, is going to have that extra weight so it's going to have more and if you do have that wind in fact it's going to pretty much be likely to for those trees power lines to fall which results again in power outages so you are going to have power outages in these areas and they may last for a couple of days so make sure you do have a heat source because it is going to be pretty cold in these areas some arkansas people uh, they do not have uh, possible heaters especially in southern arkansas they do not have i don't think they have much heaters in those uh, housing so even southern arkansas could even see portions of a quarter of an inch of ice and even some even northern uh, texas you guys don't really have much heaters so it is still going to be cold uh with those power outages so just keep that in mind here throughout these areas let's switch over to the mid atlantic and see those ice totals mid atlantic yet again with that major ice storm across portions of pennsylvania with uh, upwards of three quarters of an inch of ice and even portions of virginia west virginia maryland delaware could also see pour upwards of a half an inch of ice and then looks to be ending likely over here in more of around Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts with mainly a glazing of ice, but maybe a quarter of an inch of ice is still going to be possible in those areas. Let's look at those snow tolls across the Midwest here. As you can see, we're not seeing a lot of snow over here in portions of Kansas, Missouri, uh, Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana. Uh, Indiana, northern Illinois, Indiana could see upwards of three inches of snow. But really, again, not that much here over here. And even near the Detroit area, could see three inches of snow. Really, not a not, not a lot of snow with this uh, snowstorm here. And it is becoming the end of February, so we're going to see less and less snowfall amounts as we head uh, throughout, as we head into March. And once we reach April, that's usually when those winter type, type storms start to end. So. We're not going to see as much major snowstorms, but they're still going to be possible here throughout the end, throughout March and April. They're still going to be possible, especially for the northern Midwestern areas. That's where you typically see those winters type winter storms still in March and April. So just have, definitely keep that in mind here. But these snow totals, as you can see, we're likely going to see one to two inches of snow in these light blue areas. Where you're likely seeing upwards of three to four inches of snow and more of those darker blues. So not a lot of snow hype with this snowstorm. It's mainly with that major ice storm across the Ohio Valley, uh, the south and the mid-Atlantic. The northeast, however, we could see a lot of snowfall from this. Uh, not a, a super lot, but definitely a decent amount here with upwards of a 10 inches of snowfall in those pinkish areas. Maybe in localized spots over here near Portland, maybe up to a foot of snowfall. Um, again, those dark blues, three to four inches in those light blues, uh, a light dusting to maybe two inches. So 
Definitely a decent amount of snow for us. The, a decent snowstorm impacts the northeast. Definitely not a winner for those snow lovers in the Midwest. If you did enjoy the video on the uh, major ice storm, not quite of a major snowstorm, but a major ice storm across the uh, south, the mid Atlantic, and the Ohio Valley. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single upload or live stream. And also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest updates on this major storm once again impacting uh, those areas. But as always, stay safe.